Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Deb Chanel's 48's World, where we're featuring the family affair. Now, I'm going to tell you, the only thing I don't like about this particular picture right here is why you got Twirl or King out there on the road. This is, a, this is a road now. People traveling down. Now, King got the baby in the right place, and then she got self in the middle. But, you know, Peter is out there, can you? You know, we don't want the dog to get hit either. So, you should have put both of them on the other side to your right. So, I'm like, okay, that's a problem right there. Now, this story we try, trying to break. They talking about Kenya Moore trying to have a second baby, y'all. I, I don't understand it. And Cynthia already done sat and had a conference with her along with Candy Burrs. When Ken, um, when Kenya was sitting up talking about Margaret's cheating on her. Margaret's having an affair with this woman that won't let him go. This, that, and the third. And she thought it was just very inappropriate. And, you know, she likes star shit. We all know how Kenya is. But we ain't going to take nothing from her mothering. She, she seemed like she was a solid good mother. Hell, even then he tried to tell her about Mark. Mark don't want you. And, you know, pretty much it has shown throughout the whole season when he was featured. He don't want you, can you? No, 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 no. He don't want you. So why are you thinking about having another baby by this man? So that's why I'm bringing the family affair in today, this Sunday afternoon at 12, 11 p.m. Yes. And I hope y'all are doing well, especially our black men out there. Stay strong, keep your head up, and keep the fight. Stay in the fight. Okay? Got you on like four flat tires with you. Okay? Black people have been pushed, 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 pushed for so long. And that's time for retaliation. Now, what that retaliation looks like for some people, I can't say. You know what I'm saying? But all this nonviolent, nonviolent, nonviolent stuff, huh? Uh, hey, it, it, it don't ran its course. It still has run its course, okay? That's all I'm saying. But anyway, going back to the subject matter at hand, um, we're going to be talking about Kenya Moore and, like I said, having a second baby. We broke this story, or we're breaking this story on my uh, our channel, I should say, because I featured y'all and y'all comments and stuff of that nature. But uh, going back to U.S. Weekly, they brought the story out by the way of Erin Crabtree. She's the uh, journalist over there. She titled her article, Kenya Moore is considering having baby number two with Mark Daly. Time is ticking. I'm like, can you, can you, can you, can you, can you, can you? <laughs> now, see, there's already so many speculations on the eggs that you use were not yours. Okay. Now, I'm just saying, just putting it out there because it's been out there, so we might as well talk about it. Now, if you use somebody else's eggs, can you, who you going to go get now? What other eggs you going to get from somebody else? You got a, a, a donor for that as well? But either way, however you get the baby through surrogacy, through, you know, however I, Either yell for again. I, I'm not really sure. But I'm like, is it plausible? This beautiful little girl that you got. Could she not just be your only one? Or could you not adopt? Or do you Are you ready to be a single mom to two children? You can barely make it with this one. Because you're always crying about, um, I, I, I want Brooklyn to have this. I want Brooklyn to have that. Um, me and Mark are in counseling. We Skyping. Counts having counseling sessions because of cold corona. No, nah, baby, corona don't stop. No inside visits if you must have them. Okay, it's somebody out there that's willing to see you. Just as long as you equipped with the uh, personal protective equipment, you're fine. You're safe. Okay, it's some people out there. So I'm just like, Kenya, what's going on, baby girl? You ain't solidified the fatherness that he needs to be with you all 24 7, seven days a week with baby brooklyn in the picture okay you're here in atlanta he's there in new york and you're still trying to play this role that y'all are together <sighs> as we saw on season 12 everybody was trying to ask you questions throughout the reunion and you were dodging them like you were dodging bullets okay or like you were playing dodgeball all right but those some of those balls was hitting your behind but you were deflecting 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 good case in point do that as often as you can but again it's going to come full circle where you're going to have to answer the question. Are you there with Mark or are you not? What is this relationship all about? Even though marriage certificate you pose for us to believe that it's uh, true to form. Eh, still kind of skeptical on our minds. We don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe it. I don't think it's true. I think it's just fictitious. Okay. But that's just my point. Because I'm trying to call you all your fake fool, fake refrigerant city at potential that you have here with us and probably going into season 13 because i know you you bring it you bring it this season and they're gonna bring you back okay and you deserve a raise because you definitely kept up a lot of shit the whole season okay so you you play you play your victim uh victimizer 
a uh, villain, however you want to call it, the slay assassin, you played that part, okay? Who wish we could see a softer side to you, but it just might be in your DNA makeup. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is. Just how you code it. But again, Peter going to be after your behind if something happened to that dog, okay? Remember Mike Vick? Okay. Years behind prison. Okay. But that was my tirade. That's my, my spiel. Y'all see how I feel about this second baby she trying to give. I'm like, don't Brooklyn got some playmates she can play with that's already in the family. Girl, why set her up? Why set yourself up to be involved with a man having another baby by him? And he, I mean, I ain't going to say he ain't taking care of the baby because you could definitely afford Brooklyn. So it really doesn't matter. I'm trying to get in your business that far. But he ain't even with the baby. A week at a time, two months at a time, three months at a time. You trying to blame COVID? Hell, you could just get in your car and drive, rent rent a car, and go see more. It'll take you about what ten hours, twelve hours, whatever. Y'all stop in between, whatever. Okay. You took that flight over to Greece, no problem. Just take a car ride, bus ride. You know, rent a charter bus or whatever. Party bus, van. I don't, I don't care. You could go see. Mark, if you want to go see him, just because you can't fly, that's another whole different issue. But love won't stop love. You know, climbing any mountain, going through any seas, oceans, whatever. Just need to get to your man, right? But it's, you know, you're going to have something to say about that as well. But anywho, we're going to get into this article. Uh, it goes in to say, second time the charm. Kenya Moore and Mark Data have discussed the possibility of having a second child together despite their rocky relationship status. Now, is this just my sidebar? Is this Kenya just telling us they thinking about having a baby? Uh, did we confirm, per se, Mark brought that out of his own mouth? See, that's the question with this article that I'm reading. Because we've been hearing Kenya talk all day long. But the last time we saw Mark, he said, we need to end this filming right now. And next time he come in, it won't be pretty. And them the last words I heard from Mark Daly, okay? Anybody have something different, please put it out in the comments. Let me know. But going back to the article, it says, all 36 Real Housewives couples who... Okay, that's something different. I'm sorry. It's a conversation that we're still trying to figure out, honestly. The Real Housewives of Atlanta Star 49 told us weekly, exclusively on Wednesday, May 27. But I really feel more and more that I do want to. Time is ticking, and I want them to be close in age, and it's a sensitive subject. Yes, it's a very sensitive subject. Did y'all get together, my sidebar once again? Did y'all create another contract between you two that another baby is needed, and you're going to pay him X amount of dollars to do this again, Can you? I'm just saying. But going back to the article, uh, it says, however, more pointed out that Daily 49 has his hesitations. It's scary for him, too, because Brooklyn's not his only child. So for him, it's like, well, how many children will I have? Sidebar, Mike, uh, Mark can't continue to count how many children he got. He don't know. Now, that's the sidebar right there, Kenya. If he don't know how many children he have and how many he need to add on, then you don't need to be marrying him. Okay, you get what I said, Mary, because we know you're not really married. But you definitely don't need to have no more kids by him. I mean, we know he got Brooklyn from what you say. He had two other children. That's three. So what the hell he talking about? How would that how much how many kids would that make him? I, you see what I'm saying? Who the lies, the lies, the lies. Where are we going with this, King? We're going back to the article. It said, um, so I think that is probably the biggest issue for him, she explained. But I don't think he thinks he can love anyone more than he loves Brooklyn and his other children right now. So I don't know. They have really, they have a really strong, strong bond. And I think his fear is that what if the child comes and I don't have this kind of bond with him. Because you, you didn't carry her or we're still figuring out our relationship. So evidently, Kenya must be thinking about surrogacy. But I'm like, girl, he don't barely see Brooklyn. Let alone, we don't know how he's spending time with his other two kids that are much older than Brooklyn. So if he ain't getting no time with Brooklyn, why would you want to have a fly-in dad when he want to come in whenever he want to? Or when you're permitted to go to New York to see him in an uh, uh, um a hotel room instead of his own little dwellings or his own little dig. I'm really not sure what's going on. You know what I'm saying? But it just is what it is. All right, Kay, I'm just trying to find this out. U.S. Weekly put it, put it out. 
<laughs> so I'm just trying to understand the article itself and try to put my spin on it and then ask for my family edification on what they feel. Okay, we're going back. Um, it says, um, she's still trying to figure out their relationship. Oh, really? Okay. The realist star clarified that she is seriously considering having another child via surrogate. See? I knew surrogacy was in him when she talking. He don't know if he could love a child that's not really he. I'm like, what? Okay, moving on. But anyway, after suffering complications during her first pregnancy, she is awaiting test results to determine whether surrogacy, uh, surrogacy will be my only option. Uh, more previously confirmed that she and Daly are in Zoom therapy, but she told us she hopes to soon switch to in-person sessions uh, to really be able to dig a little deeper. The TV personality then became emotional, breaking down in tears while discussing the first thing she wants to do after the quarantine caused by the coronavirus pandemic. I want to fly to New York to see Mark and for Brooklyn to see Mark. And see, that's tricky. That's tricky. The wording that the um, journalist used when she was quoting statements from Kenya, she's saying she wants Brooklyn to see Mark. Why she said she don't want Brooklyn to see her daddy? You know what I'm saying? That's, that's kind of tricky right there. But go, we're going to go on. It says, she said, we miss him. We really miss him. It breaks my heart when Brooklyn goes around the house and says, daddy, daddy, daddy. Picks up his pictures and say, daddy and stuff. It's just heartbreaking. Okay. Well, see, Kenya, that, that's a whole beautiful thing about this. If Mark wanted you, you would be in Los Angeles. Oh, I'm sorry, that's what Mike said. But you would be in New York, period, point in blank. You wouldn't be living this uh, long-distance relationship that you call yourself in. And then half the time you're saying you want a divorce. Then half the time you're saying you want to get back together. You want to make this work. Y'all Skyping with a counselor, okay? No, that ain't going to work. Who does that? <sighs> but anyway, I digress. Going back to the article, it said, uh, in the meantime, the trio are FaceTiming every day, and she is focusing on Kenya More Hair Care and Baby Quest Foundation. The organization has my donations of 20000 so I'm sponsoring two families personally, she detailed. It's going to be so incredible to see who I will actually be able to help have a family and live their dream. As for her hair products, the line will soon be expanded to another retailer. More welcome the daughter, Brooklyn, in 2018 and announced her split from Daily in 2019. After two years of marriage, a source revealed to us in October 2019 that the restauranteur had multiple affairs while she later claimed she had no proof of infidelity on his part. See what I'm saying? Kenya lies, lies, lies. Why do you want to bring in another child with all these lies? Okay. I, we already told you what well, most of us told you. You need to go get some counseling for yourself before you try to work on your marriage. Because if you ain't in the head correctly straighten out, how can you be a full-fledged, uh, workable person in a marriage? Mm, just don't make sense, can you? Make it make sense, girl. But anyway, uh, we're going back to the article. It says the Bravo Star expressed hope for a reconciliation in November of 2019, telling us that she loved daily and things could get back on track. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> and that is pretty much it of that article, y'all. I'm like, oh, so much, so much, but really wasn't telling us anything. I'm like, can you stop going on these interviews telling all this false information? Uh, I know Mark is considered a private person here and there, this, that, and the third, but we don't want you coming in season 13 talking about Mark. We ain't seeing Mark. We ain't hearing from Mark. Unless he's talking to the baby and all this kind of crap. It's very like some of my YouTubers, uh, content creators. They said the word cringing. It's very cringing to see you go through making a, excuses for Mark Daly and his behavior and his demeanor. Girl, let it drop. We don't want to meet babe. We don't need to. We, we really don't want you to go to another baby situation unless you're really saying you're going to do it by yourself. You and Brooklyn and the new baby are going to conquer the world together along with very uh, supportive people around you. You're going to have your own support team, this, that, and the third. And you're just going to pay Mark dust. Okay? Because it, it just is what it is. It's just is what it is. Stop faking the phone. Stop saying you got a marriage that you don't have. <laughs> you really don't. But that's all I have for this video, guys. I just thought it was very interesting that she would come out still having um, marital issues, marital 
problems that she hadn't resolved, but yet she want to throw another baby in the mix, okay? Uh-uh, that's not a good idea, big red flag. If anybody can tell her damn Chanel's 40th word with the family affair saying it's a no-go. It's a no-go because we don't want to have troubled relationships, troubled marriages that are seem like they're dissolving itself unraveling in front of our eyes and you have two babies and want to make mark look crazy when we know it's probably just a contractual agreement he's willing to donate his sperm here and there but it seems like what you want to do a surrogacy he ain't too much wanting to uh be a part of this baby he, he really trying to do adoption is what he's trying to do okay and then he's already telling you he's not sure if he can love another child the way he's bonded with Brooklyn and his other two kids. See, that that's another problem right there. It's too much question marks in the air for you to just throw them to the wind and say, we'll deal with them as they happen. No, because then you got two kids on you, solely depending on you, going to have to ground you, because how are you going to be able to raise them with you being on the road all the time? I'm just saying, girl, be smart. You're a smart, intelligent woman. Play it smart this time. You can't barely take care of Brooklyn, okay? And I'm talking about emotionally as well as physically, especially when you're trying to do other avenues with your career and your business and this, these things going on. It's very hard to do. You've already showed us. It's very daunting on you. So why would you put more added pressure on you that another little one is going to need you to take care of them until they can take care of themselves, okay? All right. But anyway, that's all I have for this video, guys. Y'all get down in the comments. Y'all talk about subject matter. Tell me what y'all thought about this particular subject matter. What what Kenya's doing this time? I mean, is it just for a storyline? Is it just for her getting ready for season 13? Or is she really, indeed, trying to have a second child with Mark Daly? Or, or him being a surrogate father? Or I, I, it's all confusing. All confusing. And very interesting at the same time. So, I look forward to seeing your comments. Keep them on subject matter. Y'all have a blessed day. Okay? But I'm sure I'll be back with something else to talk about. You know how I am. And um, that's about it. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share the videos. Okay? And I'll see y'all next video. Peace.